Previously on Steve vs. Wild, nothing because this is the first episode. I tricked you all. Ha! Okay, so welcome to Steve vs. Wild, where I, Steve, have to venture into the wild and try to survive. We don't know if I'll be able to do it, but we must try. So, here is my pilot, Mr. Bob. He's very floppy. Um, he's never actually flown before. But he's what they like to call a uh, natural, um, a born natural. Now nobody ever called him this, but I did because I needed someone to fly me, and nobody thought this was a good idea. So, but I did. So that's all that matters. It's all about my opinion, and it's all about my safety and comfort. So I had a bed. We've been flying for about two and a half minutes, and I got really tired, and so I'm really scared. I've never actually been out here in the wild because you know I'm what they call a natural. So, um, here we go. My pilot will give me the cue in, uh, three, two, one. Are you, um... Oh, okay, that's the cue. Let's go, guys. It's every day, bro. We must, we must get out of here. Please. Now, for those who don't know, if you've never actually done this before, then you probably shouldn't do it. But since I'm a born naturalist, you might as well. Let's land here. Okay. Now, we can mind that lag. Um, I've landed in the middle of a forest. And now this is a pretty good looking forest. But, there is one step you all rest must remember. There's one very important step. Is that you always remove your source of transportation. Your parachute, your, uh, glide thingy, whatever. This is my elytra for example, I must get rid of it because it is literally the most useful thing I have and there is no point in having anything useful so you must dispose of it because if you have this and you're out in the wild everyone's gonna think that you, you know, you're all staged and stuff oh, you weren't supposed to see that, and sorry um, the think, the think that you, um are a pro and that you actually know what you're doing but that's not the point the point is to survive so let's start heading in a random direction because that is totally what you are supposed to do in the wild. Ooh, look, I found a chest. Now this is not just any chest, it's a bonus chest. And bonus chests, they're like chests, but they're called bonus chests and they have torches around them. You use these in your world to survive because they're full of pretty useless stuff. You know, like some food, you could just punch a tree and eat the tree, but no, they give you bread, they give you fish, you can just go in the water and eat the mud, you know, pumpkin seeds, who even, like, eats pumpkins. So it's just full of useless stuff. Now, I'm going to stop the camera and take everything out of this so I don't reveal my secrets. And so I can use this item, these items later on. Now, you can use them, too, because it's, um, they're called bonus chests because it's cheating. And since this is my show and my rules, I can cheat. So I'm going to, like, go, um, and take this stuff out, and I'll be back with you in a second when I'm done... Now, what you want to do is you want to take your useless tool that's inside the chest and dispose of it so people don't think that there is a noob nearby. You don't want to help out any other travelers, even if they're lost, because they could be targeting you. Most likely they're not, but you can never be sure. The only, the only purpose of anything in a survival situation is that you feel comfort and alive. If you don't feel comfort, and you feel dead, that is bad. The whole world revolves around you because it's Minecraft, and Minecraft revolves around you because I just said it's Minecraft. So, let's, let's see. Now is the very important part that, you know, you don't script anything because if you script stuff, you know, uh oh, you're not supposed to see that. If you script stuff, then um, it's, it's a fraud. And me clearly having food is a fraud, but I, you guys don't know that I have food. You only know I have this. So, yeah. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to find the direction you're heading in. So there's a big jungle where you can get lost, and that's always really good for when you're out in the wild. Because, like, being lost is one of the most important parts of being in the wild. If you're not lost, why are you in the wild? Like, what are you doing? You're stupid. So, you can go there. It's a floating chest, but ignore that. 
there's a big mountain that will waste half of our energy, but that's always a good thing in the wild, because you're more helpless, and you have more reason to be rescued. Um, there's also some snow, so we could also freeze of hypothermia, that's always a treat. Um, and then, uh, I think, I think that's it, so, I'm not really sure which direction to head to, um, but I, I, Can't, can't keep that, can't use it? No, just against the rules of survival. Um, but just don't worry about the lag, it's just um, part, it's part of the plan, you know? But I think this island is a great place to start off. There's some food, um, and yeah, we're gonna go there because there's a sheep and we need a test subject, we need a torture subject, and we're gonna go torture this sheep, so let's just do that. Okay, so now, we found this super tiny tree. Why does this stupid tree exist? It's so small. It's like dumb. Don't exist at all. You're not. You're like a bush wannabe, but too big to be a bush, but too small to be a tree. You should die. Sorry, that's just one of my pet peeves. It's to have a. Sh shut up. Thank you. One of my pet peeves is to have a small tree. That's. Where are you? Hey, you over there? Be quiet. I don't want to hear it. So one of my pet peeves is to have a tree because like not just any tree, a small tree. It's a bush wannabe, but like I can't even look at it. It's so sad. Now here we have some parrots. We also have some melon. Um, we have some sheep. Lots of sheep, lots of melon. Pretty good. The jungle is right there. I'm still debating on whether to get lost or stay on this island. Um, let's let's go around and explore. Now one of the main important things of being in a survival situation is that you look helpless. You know, if you have makeup on like me, you don't look helpless. You look like this is all staged, all planned, you're in creative, and you don't want that. So you gotta like look super dirty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand up here and call for help for about two and a half seconds and notice that probably my helicopter is somewhere off in the distance ready to pick me up in about 20 minutes. But, um, but since nothing is here and I'm losing my patience, we're gonna go in the water and get super dirty, so we're even harder to spot, but we look even more helpless, so here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the water's very murky, and that means I'm gonna be blind in about a couple seconds. Um, I'm also gonna have very bad diarrhea from the contamination, um, and I'm also uh, probably gonna have heart failure, you know? So that's always fun, and I'm also drowning, so that's even better. Now, now that we've done that, we're probably not gonna head this way because it's very uninteresting except for that floating island. So, um, uh, I'll be back. I have to eat my lunch because the crew over here has my lunch. Okay, so while me and the crew were having lunch, I kinda got attacked by a drown, but I'm no longer poisoned, so do not worry. Um, but it, appear, it appears that um, we're not really going for the jungle anymore as I'm really afraid- Oh, that's a tall tree, no. So tall trees are one of my scaredy scares. Short trees are my pet peeves. Tall trees are just- you see, That's a big tree and that's even worse than a tall tree because it's obese. And it's like a big chungus mixed with Big Daddy and I cannot stand it. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to go to the frozen mountains. We're, gonna, we're going for the Himalayas of Greece. Um, I hear that the people- of the Himalayas of Greece. They have some tricks up their sleeves that will help us. Okay, so after hours of getting back to where I was, I found my stuff, but here's the dangerous part is that we have to, um, you know, like, do the goods. So, um, I honestly, I, I don't know where anything went and chances are we're not finding any of it because this this is not my stuff. This is a disappointment. This is actually um uh block uh block a wall. Not not my stuff. So I guess we're just gonna keep going because you know, I can't find any of it and if I can't do that I definitely don't wanna go looking for it. But um since since it's so dark, I'm just gonna fly and you guys aren't gonna know that I'm flying because it's so dark, you guys can't even see anything. So that's good for me because I can literally do whatever I want and no one will really know my secrets. So, um, yeah, I can't really find my stuff, but that's not really important because honestly, I think I'm good without it. I think I can just like go to the mountain, you know, 
go to about like pretty close to the top like right here and then I can start recording and then everyone would know or nobody would know that I really just flew so mm, here we go okay guys so it's been a really long journey to get to the top I kind of lost all my stuff um, but that's okay because I'm at the top and since I'm at a high vantage point ooh, look lava. Um, since I'm at a high vantage point and it's so dark that still I'm still pretty hopeless and no one will find me um, but that's okay because you know if you ever stuck out in the wild and it's you've been out there for a pretty long time and it doesn't seem like any and like you are not you know how do I put this in words there's no hope for you okay when there's no hope for you here's what you do so you're most likely on single player mode and since you're on single player mode there literally is no hope for you but I got I got a trick up my sleeve okay so um you have to find some glowing red liquid um, and we're gonna we're gonna go for it because you know the birds taught me this trick you know in the human layers of Greece I learned this trick you know um, the birds go again they go for shiny stuff like bright stuff and um, I think that's a very good idea like say there's a plane coming your way and it's shiny and it's a sunny day you know go for that if there's a um, a very polished bomb that's always a really good idea to go for that because that bomb could be a bath bomb and if you're out in the wild you need a bath like pretty bad so we're gonna go for this here we go um, but I'm a bit scared of heights as you guys already know um, I almost fell uh, mommy please get me I'm peeing my pants right now I, I really need a change okay so here we are we at the glowing object now I'm gonna change into survival so you guys don't know that I wasn't creative at all and we're just gonna go for it so um and happy new year and uh it's everyday bro uh, okay can we get some bandage or something I yeah, that accent jeez ugh my throat hurts now bandage anyone can we get the crew can we like no okay um okay yeah let's let's go well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it's kind of a new idea just an original idea i was just thinking of man versus wild then i thought of minecraft and i was like you know what? that's a good video idea i don't have any ideas for today so let's do that um, so if you guys want this to be a series, then drop a like and subscribe. I know it was like kind of cheesy, kind of boring. So at times, um, nothing was scripted. Um, I would just was like, you know, I want to make a video. I'm going to do this. And so that's what I did. So if you guys want more of this series and maybe just more original random ideas, um, just to test things out, then drop a like, um, as I just said. And also, why don't you consider subscribing? Um, I'll probably do a lot more related stuff in the future and I just want a bid for a Nintendo Switch um it may or may not come with Breath of the Wild but that's besides the point because we'll still be getting Smash Bros and Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Fortnite within the near future so if you guys want that then good for you because I'm probably gonna do that so um also guys I don't know what I'm wearing but that's besides the point the logo is back it's just been sitting down here for years so uh yeah, the crappy logo. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.